Hey guys, it's Rodway here, and today we are looking at something a little different, kind of a neat effect. Um, this is in addition to the panorama tutorial that I had um, previous. This is uh, one more advanced sort of thing you can do with your panoramas once you're done with them. Um, I like panoramas because there's a lot of different things we can do with them, and, and this is kind of cool. Um, I'm going to just show you the image that we're working with. This is it right here. And I don't take any responsibility for the image itself. This was found online and it's a perfect image for what I want to show. So if you look at this image, you will notice that where it starts, all right, if I look at that corner where it starts, it goes all the way around and it ends basically where it begins. All right, why is that important? It's because this is a 360 degree panorama and there's a lot of things you can do with 360 degree panoramas. Um, because of that fact, I would say, you know, when you can, always shoot 360 degree panoramas. You might not think of it at the time, but you might want to, um, you know, uh, either make it interactive or in this case make the effect that we're looking at in this video. All right, so I'm going to close that up. This is a quick and easy way to get a neat sort of effect. We're going to take this file and we're going to drag it to Photoshop and open it up. Again, I take no responsibility for the images used in this uh, tutorial. It's for education purposes only. And uh, anyways, there's the image. All right, like I said, a perfect 360 degrees. That's very important if you want this to work. What we're going to do is we're going to go to image and we're going to go to, oh, just give me one sec here, sorry. Image, image size. And what we want to do first off is make this image perfectly square. All right, so what we do in order to get that is we're going to turn off constrained proportions. And we're going to go to the width, make sure it's set to pixels. And in this case, just for the sake of the tutorial to make it go quicker, um, I'm going to set it to an amount around 5,000 with a height of about 5,000. So you want it to be square and then hit OK. This is going to make a really squished looking panorama. But again, all the information's there. Um, it still starts and stops at the uh, proper points and um, th it's very important that it's square to begin with. Now you might think I'm nuts but what we're going to do to this is we're going to go to image, image rotation and we're going to go to 180 degrees. We're going to flip it upside down. So now we got a square panorama, we flipped it 180 degrees and now what we're going to do is we're going to apply uh, a filter to get the effect that we want. We're going to go to Filter, Distort, Polar Coordinates, and we're going to put it to Rectangular to Polar, and we're going to hit OK. And watch what happens. We get this effect here. Now you may have seen these um, photos around. They um, are pretty popular. What these are called are mini planets, all right, or mini planet panoramas. And so you can see that all the detail is there still in our image. But what it did to it is it took that panorama and created this neat little mini world out of that panorama. All right, this is a really neat effect. Um, looks great on uh, in portfolios or on book covers or whatever. Um, I've seen this used all over the place and I really like the look of it. Now one thing that you're going to notice is the edges um, blur out. That's just an effect of that polar coordinates uh, filter. So what I suggest you do is maybe clone it out or um, you know maybe heel brush it or whatever it takes to kind of get rid of that um, or choose a different panorama. Um, but 
what we're really focusing on is the middle part. Uh, we can even crop out most of that. Maybe I'll do that. We can crop out most of that edge and whoops, I'm on constrained here. One sec. Let's just get that off of constrained. And we'll just crop out some of that. We're still going to have some in the edges there, but uh, you can kind of crop some of it out. And like I said, if you want to get it all out, maybe clone it or whatever. In this case, there's this weird kind of block here. But um, other than that, the effect, or like I said, is, is really cool. Uh, you can take any panorama and make it look like a mini planet. Sometimes it works really neat, like if you got mountains, the mountains look like they're on the outside edges of the planet. Um, and again, just another use for panoramas and something you can try with your own. If you're out shooting 360 degree panoramas, try this out. Uh, you might be pleased with the uh, end result. All right, so hopefully that helps. We're just gonna save it. Like I said, pretty quick tutorial. I'm gonna call it Mini Planet. I just hit OK. All right, so uh, try that out. See what you can get. Show me some cool ones that you've created. Till next time, take care. Keep, fo keep taking photos.